Coming up next on Auto Show TV, we look at two of the top-selling small SUVs. Victoria shows us the Toyota RAV4 at Colonial, and I check out what's new in the Honda CRV at Majestic. Plus, Brian Benoit at Anchor Auto Group explains why they are so fussy when it comes to the pre-owned vehicles they sell. Also, some December Best Buys. We found some great deals to share with you. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning. Thanks for checking us out this morning on Auto Show TV, where we visit the best dealerships, present great vehicles, find terrific deals for you, and we always learn some things here on Auto Show TV. Now, this morning, we're going to check out two of the top selling small SUVs in America the Honda CRV and the Toyota RAV4. We're going to come back here to Majestic Honda in a few minutes to check out the CRV, but first, We'll start with Victoria at Colonial Toyota. This morning on Auto Show TV, we get the help of our Toyota experts here at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield for an up-close look at the smart and sensible 2015 RAV4. The newest generation RAV is the most stylish yet, but it's not just the good looks that make it one of America's top-selling small SUV crossovers. The RAV4 is loaded with safety features and amenities like available dual zone climate control, smart key system, Bluetooth, and even reclining rear seats. It's a great ride, practical, and getting better every year. Joining us this morning is Amanda Sperry. Amanda, so this is the Limited. It's the top of the line, right? Yes, this is the Limited, which we will be looking at today. Um, the RAV4 also comes in three different trim levels. It starts as a base model LE, comes in mid-grade XLE, and the Limited as we have here. The RAV4 is a four-cylinder all-wheel drive vehicle. It has 176 horse with 172 foot-pounds of torque. It also has excellent fuel economy, achieving 22 city and 29 highway. So with this smart key system that the Limited comes standard with, you actually have touch sensors on your door handles where you never have to actually take this key out of your pocket or pocketbook. You can literally just get in this vehicle with an ease of just opening the door and closing it. And then you can also lock it just by pressing the ribs right on the door handle. That's great. Very I'm always fumbling for my car keys. <laughs> I know, right? So once again, with the smart key system, all you have to do is just touch the back and it automatically lifts the tailgate for you. You do also have controls on the key to pop the trunk as well, and also a one-touch button up top to close it, which is very convenient. So let's take a look in the back here. As you can see, we have tons of cargo capacity. Your spare tire is going to be located right underneath with all the pieces that you need to change a flat. Convenient. <laughs> right. Now Toyota does come with Toyota Care, which is two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first of complimentary oil changes, tire rotations, 160 point inspection, fluid top off refill, as well as two years and limited miles of roadside assistance. Why don't we go ahead and start the vehicle up? All right. Excellent. So we're going to take a look at the controls. We'll start over on your door panel, actually, we have power windows, power locks, power window child safety locks, as well as two memory seats. So you can save it for yourself or a significant other in your perfect setting. Good, because I hate it when my boyfriend gets in and messes all my mirrors up. I know the feeling. <laughs> now, this vehicle also comes equipped with automatic lights as well as fog lamps too, which is very convenient so you never have to touch that at all. They'll just do their own thing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> On the left-hand side of your steering wheel, you're gonna have all of your audio controls and the right hand side we're going to have our Bluetooth controls and we're also going to have a display button which is going to activate the LCD screen under your speedometer. It's going to give you all of your trips, fuel economy, miles per gallon as you're driving. We also have our audio over here. It's all touch screen uh, which most Toyotas are coming equipped with that as standard but this actually has navigation as well because it is the limited model. So to get to our navigation we're going to go ahead and hit apps and then hit navigation. So it's all laid out nice and simple. That's great. Now, is it also voice activated? It is also voice activated. That integrates with the Bluetooth, so you can actually give it commands to go to destinations as you're driving. Great, it's a good safety feature. It sure is. Now we also have other features and apps as well. We have our Eco, which is gonna give us a five minute fuel consumption record. And we can also check out past records as well we can update them 
and start new ones. So we always know what we're getting for MPG in the vehicle. That's good. Now we can also customize our home screen. Right now we have it as audio. Right here would show speed dials once there is a phone connected and then our map. We can change it into a two panel or we can keep it as a three panel. Now moving down below we're going to have all of our air controls. Everything is conveniently located and very simple to use. We have dual climate temperature control that starts in an XLE to the limited grade and that's going to allow us to have different temperatures for driver and passenger. Now I noticed that our seats are leather. Do they happen to be heated? They are leather and they are heated. Uh, all your heat controls are going to be under here for driver and passenger. You have two controls, high and low, for each seat, which is uh, pretty nice, especially Definitely. for the winter. Yes. <laughs> now we also have uh, Eco Mode and Sport. Eco Mode is going to help you achieve better fuel efficiency in city driving. Sport is essentially going to give you a sportier ride. It'll stiffen the steering in the vehicle. So two different ways to drive the RAV4 to make it more convenient for you. So Victoria, as you can see, the 2015 Toyota RAV4 is a totally versatile vehicle. It is fit for all different types of buyers. We have plenty here at Colonial Toyota to choose. Just visit our website at colonialtoyota.com. You can take a look at all of our inventory right online and give us a call and we'll definitely be able to help you out and find the right RAV for you. Come join us here at Colonial Toyota for a great experience under our gateway to savings. So make it your last stop for your best deal. Colonial. Coming up, Honda's new CRV touring model. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Huh. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. With all this construction, we need the space. 2014 Captivas are now only $15.9. Lots of room with plenty to stow. And front-wheel drive makes them great in the snow. See the Cerones? You'll be glad you did. Are you among the thousands in the New Bedford Fall River area suffering with headaches, neck pain, or back pain? You can feel better. At the Harbor Group, Dr. Psychopatis and his team provide an expert physical, orthopedic, and neurological assessment using digital x-rays all on site. And you'll enjoy a true one-on-one -on -one doctor-patient relationship. The Harbor Group delivers chiropractic, physical therapy, and medicine. Choose the Harbor Group. Let our team help you get better. So call us today. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solara with 76,000 miles and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard in pre-owned vehicles. It's the holiday season and you've been chosen to host the big party. Well, who's gonna do the cooking? Worry about nothing, Riccardi's will take care of it for you. Riccardi's is your one stop for the tastiest party platters, large or small, hot or cold. Folks love our antipasto, baked lasagna, chicken and eggplant parmesan, meatballs and sausages, and so much more. Simply uncover and serve, packaged and prepared for an attractive presentation. Just remember, when you see the Riccardi's box, it's gonna be a great party. December is truck month at Cerrone's, and this is why. Incredible year-end factory incentives and tax savings when you buy before the end of the year make December the best time to buy. At Cerrone's, we are your commercial truck headquarters. Now it's Auto Show TV's Best Buys. We search for the best cars in the market and tell you where to find the deals. Anchor Nissan comes through again on the Altima. The 2014 Altima SV can be yours for a $169 a month lease for 36 months. The Altima speaks for itself as a mid-size sedan leader. Backup camera, Bluetooth, and so many more features. Lease the Altima at Anchor. 
Sarones in South Attleboro is under the gun right now to move inventory with the new construction going on. So that has prompted a great deal on the program 2014 Chevy Cruze. Buy it with some miles, like new, for just $13.5. And you get the balance of GM's warranty at Sarones. Here's a sweet deal on a 2015 Honda CR-V LX trim package. Lease for just $2.29 a month for 36 months with just $1,000 down. Comes with Bluetooth and backup camera. This lease is at Majestic Honda in Lincoln and West Warwick on the CRV. This is the time of year to consider the versatile Subaru Forester. Anchor Subaru has lowered the price of the 2015 Forester 2.5i to $21,790. All wheel drive and the reliability of Subaru at a terrific price, plus Anchor's lifetime assurance plan at no extra cost. Now here's a great purchase price on the new 2014 Subaru Crosstrek XV. Buy it for just $21,490, also at Anchor Subaru. All-wheel drive, tons of safety features, and all the technology. That's a super low price on the Crosstrek XV at Anchor Subaru in North Smithfield. Now if you're looking at a small SUV crossover, you're probably considering the Toyota RAV4. Here's a great deal at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield. Buy a brand new 2015 RAV4 LE with all-wheel drive for $23,631 or you can lease for $209 a month. Two ways to save on the RAV at Colonial. The program deals at Cerrone's continue in December. Cerrone's has priced its latest collection of 2014 like new Captivas at just $15,900, a savings of about $10,000. There's some miles, but you get the balance of GM's warranty. Program Captivas at Cerrone's. Auto Intelligence loves the Nissan Pathfinder, and we found a great deal on the Pathfinder S at Anchor Nissan, a $219 a month lease. It's all-wheel drive and room for passengers and cargo, plus you get the Anchor Lifetime Assurance Plan at no extra cost. For the family on the go, I'm sure the Honda Odyssey is on the list. So practical, and Majestic Honda has the 2015 Odyssey LX at the lease payment of $289 a month for 36 months with just $1,000 down. Comes with Bluetooth, power driver's seat, and much more. Another terrific minivan is the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country Wagon. We see that Elmwood in East Providence has slashed the price over $6,500. Get this Town & Country for $26,999 delivered. It has leather and the safety tech package. That's at Elmwood. Also at Elmwood, looking for a pickup with some muscle, we found the 2014 Ram 1500 Crew Cab 4x4 Bighorn with the big 5.7 liter V8. That's at Elmwood. The price is cut by over $9,500. Get it for $34,977. This Ram 1500 has the security group, spray bed liner, and park assist. It's loaded up at Elmwood. So there you go, some great deals in December. Happy car shopping. That's Auto Show TV's Best Buys. If you missed any of the deals, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. We are back on Auto Show TV and we're excited to be back at Majestic Honda in Lincoln with Casey Martin. The all new 2015 CRV Touring is out. You have one here. There's been a lot of buzz and with good reason. Tell us all about the, the new Touring model. Absolutely. This is the first time Honda's had a Touring model in the CRV lineup. It's Honda for 2015 added a lot of the, the technological features that are available in other models to the CRV this year, but on the Touring model, they've gone above and beyond and they even added two safety features that were never available on any Honda previously. It seems like safety was a big part of what was behind Honda in creating this. Absolutely, and two of the new features that I find just absolutely amazing, they, they have lane departure warning, we've gone over that before in other models of the Honda, but this one actually has what they call a lane keeping assist system. Not only does it monitor the lines in the road, but if it si finds that you're swerving in between, it'll automatically adjust and keep you in the middle of the lane. Amazing technology. It is. The next one they've added is the adaptive cruise control, which is available on the Accord Touring. They've expanded on that and added a collision mitigation braking system. It uses the radar of the adaptive cruise control to measure the distance of the car in front of you. And if it feels you're closing too fast because of a possible collision, it'll automatically apply the brakes for you. Casey, if there is a crash, uh, can you just talk a little bit about how the CRV reacts in terms of you know keeping the integrity 
of the passenger compartment because that's really Absolutely. the key. The, the vehicle gets damaged, that's one thing, but we got to protect the occupants. And that's what Honda's been you know, working on for years and years. And the Advanced Compatibility Engineering System, or ACE Body Structure, this is the newest generation of it. And what Honda's really worked on is the most common frontal accident, which is the partial or offset frontal collision. Yep. It's very rare that a car is hit dead in the middle. Yeah. Uh, most of the time people try to avoid the accident and you just catch the corner of the vehicle. And when you think about how much energy is absorbed in one section, it's been so difficult for engineers to design a frame system that can absorb that energy and protect the occupants. And Honda has really done that with this newest ACE body structure. Yeah. What else would you like to show us about the Touring? Well, what I really like about, not only does it have the new technology, but the adaptive cruise control, you've always been able to notice it through the grill on the Touring Accord or other makes and models. Right. If you look at the front of the car, you can't see the radar. And Honda was clever enough to actually hide it behind the H. So it's right here? Yes, it is. Oh, for crying. Yeah, so from the front, you can't even tell it's there, but no. that's where the radar beams are sent for the adaptive cruise control and for the collision mitigation system. Nice. Also, as you can tell up here, that is for the lane watch. Right. So that is what's watching the lane in front of you to keep you in the lane or to, of course, warn you if you depart from it. Besides the safety features, let me show you the wheels on the Touring model. Sure. First time Honda's had an 18-inch alloy wheel. It's obviously a very attractive wheel. Stands out from the rest of the CRV lineup. On the Touring model as well, they've added the directionals in the side view mirrors, which is another great safety feature so that the other sure. vehicles on the road can see that you're trying to turn. Yep, folding mirrors. And they do fold, absolutely, yep. yep. Um, next feature is Honda finally added the Smart Entry System to the CIV lineup, and it's in the Touring model as well. Uh, very nice feature. The key never has to be removed from your pocket to open the door, to lock the door. Uh, so it's a very, very nice feature. In the back of the vehicle, first time in a CRV. People have been asking for this feature. A full power lift gate. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> and it's, it didn't uh, have that before. Never been available. Um, Honda finally decided to add it when they designed the Touring model. They wanted to add all the new technology. Um, and it's a great feature, especially for people who are maybe on the little and the shorter side, um, because you can either hit the button on the tailgate to close it, or of course the remote control, just hold it down and it'll close it by itself. So it's definitely a very popular feature people have been asking for in the CRV, and now it's available. And Casey, there's the, the lane watch camera. Yep, right? that's the lane watch camera, which again, as we discussed, uh, when you put your right directional on, the camera will come on here so you can see your blind spot. So not only are you alerting the driver that you're turning with the directional uh, in the mirror, but you can actually see if a car is there. And this is the first CRV with a CVT transmission, correct? How it about is. that? It is, absolutely. And uh, CVT is the most common transmission uh, in almost a lot of vehicles now. Honda's had it in their Civic, the Accord, the Fit, and now in the CRV. What does that mean for those who don't know? It means constantly variable transmission. Uh, essentially, if you look at a five speed transmission, you have only five different gear ratios the car is allowed to use. With the CVT, it's constantly variable. So the advantage is if you want to accelerate quickly, the harder you push the gas pedal, the motor will rev and the transmission will adjust based on the RPMs of the vehicle. As soon as you let off the gas, the transmission speed will also adjust immediately, which yeah. means is when you need the power, it's there, and when you don't, you get the fuel economy. So you get fuel economy and performance. Absolutely. That's a beautiful thing. What are we talking mileage-wise, gas mileage? You get a few mile per gallon bump this year, over the 14, so the average city highway is around 28 miles per gallon, which is amazing yeah. in a vehicle this yeah. size with all-wheel drive. I took a peek at the sticker, and 33 highway is very good. It's excellent. Yeah. So how's your inventory of the, the new 15 CRVs? So far, it's great. We have a lot of uh, 15 models available in stock today. The Touring model might be a little hard to come by for a while because it's been extremely popular. Um, we've sold quite a few so far, and good. we have a couple of them pre-sold as well. I can see why. It is, absolutely. It's a great vehicle, a lot of technology, a lot of safety features, and people are really excited about it. All right. Folks, get to Majestic Honda, two locations, West Warwick on Route 2 and right here on Route 146 in Lincoln. Next up, good info if you're buying a used car. You're watching Auto Show TV. Whether it's a dazzling diamond engagement ring, a heartfelt gift, or something for yourself, come to Hanus Jewelers in Warwick. We carry all the new styles, the most popular brands, and a superb selection of loose diamonds and wedding bands. Grooms-to-be trust Hanus Jewelers in Warwick for our expertise and their peace of mind, because we know you may need some help making just the right selection. Come see why the perfect marriage proposal starts with a spectacular diamond from Hanus Jewelers, Route 2 in Warwick. 
You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Hi, folks. This is Al Cerrone. Join us next Sunday for Discover Rhode Island, a brand new television program showcasing local businesses throughout Rhode Island. I will be your host as we learn about some of the best businesses in the Ocean State. Tune in Sunday at 1030 as we discover Rhode Island. Welcome to the Sand Trap, your virtual golf facility in Dartmouth. Now you can golf all year round because we've brought the golf course indoors using leading simulator technology and 3D high-speed cameras to evaluate your shot. Experience the sights and sounds, even the elements, as you play one of over 40 courses worldwide. The Sand Trap is great for beginners to learn the game and for avid golfers to improve their game. Enjoy the full golf course experience indoors at the Sand Trap, your virtual golf facility in Dartmouth. you fake wearing your seatbelt, remember this. Cops have been trained to spot seatbelt violations even at night. And they don't give out fake tickets. Day or night, click it or ticket. Old fashioned laser tag with childish outdated toy equipment is gone forever. Welcome to the new cutting edge laser tag in New England's premier tactical laser tag arena. Mission combat with three locations, Fall River and Worcester Mass plus West Warwick, Rhode Island. Experience the heart pounding adrenaline rush while using the most sophisticated laser tag technology. Over 15,000 square feet of battle space. You've played the games at home. Now enjoy the action live at Mission Combat. That was intense. That was fun. Let's go again. If you're thinking about buying a pre-owned vehicle, here's some things to think about. I met recently with Brian Benoit at Anchor Nissan and learned about their process of evaluating a used vehicle because there's more to it than meets the eye. Brian, what are you doing there? What is that thing? Oh, uh, this is a uh, this is an electronic paint meter. Paint meter. Yeah, this is this is kind of a cool device. This is the first thing we do when we start inspecting a car that's a potential trade-in. See what it does is it measures the thickness of the paint on a car, the mills of thickness of paint on the car. And I know you're asking, oh, you're wondering. Oh, I think I know where you're going with this. Yeah, you're wondering why I'm measuring the thickness of the paint. Well, here's the thing. It's an easy indicator for us to find out if there's been any aftermarket paint on the vehicle, which could be an indicator of an accident. So that's the first thing we're looking for. So at that point, does that trigger you or one of your guys to think, maybe there's been an accident here, maybe it's been something structural, maybe not, but you're certainly gonna go digging. Sure, yeah, that, that certainly puts up the red flag. That's not the only thing we look for for paint work. We measure it and then we're also looking for overlapping paint lines and things like that. But once we found something, now we have to go try to find out what's the root of the paint work. Now you could have a little you know, bump with somebody in a parking lot, that's not a big deal. Or you could have, a structurally damaging big accident where panels are being replaced and the structural integrity, the strength of the car is now in question. And if you don't find any paint difference in terms of the thickness, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you stop there and go, okay, this car is good to go. You still have a process. Absolutely. Um, you know, and a lot of people would say, hey, why don't you, why don't you just pull a Carfax and, and, you know, put an end to it. Um, you know, Carfax isn't going to show you everything. Um, in a lot of cases, they miss a lot of things. So most people have the same, the same concerns when they're, when they're looking at a pre-owned car. There's, there's basically three concerns. Has the vehicle been hit? And unfortunately, most of the decision on that is, is hanging on a Carfax in most people's minds. But has the, has the vehicle been hit? Uh, am I buying someone else's problems? And am I getting a good value? Based on the condition of this car, am I getting a good value? That's, that's everybody's concern. That's my concern. That's my concern when I'm looking to buy a car. Can I provide that? Can I provide a car to the next consumer that hasn't been hit, um, that isn't wrought with, with issues and problems, 
that can serve the customer for, for many, many years, and are they, getting, are they getting a good value? And a lot of that value question comes in, what is the condition of the car body-wise and structurally? But we also have a process from our, from our appraisers to our managers to our um, technicians who prep the vehicles to look for structural damage. We all know how to do it, both on top of the vehicle and underneath the vehicle. So once we've established that the vehicle is structurally sound and it's a vehicle that we would put our own families in, then we're comfortable going to the next step, which is the mechanical assessment of the vehicle and cleanliness of it, value of it, and so forth. There are people who look at the car thoroughly, find out the pros and cons to the car, and choose to maybe ignore some of the cons, but not so good people in the business. And then yes, there are people who just don't do the job thoroughly enough because they rely on other things, things like Carfax reports, uh, vehicle history reports that give them what I call superficial information and maybe lull them to sleep into thinking this car is more than what it might be. Clean Carfax, call it a day, that customer is probably going to be fine with that. Right. Legally, I'm potentially covered. I've I've done my due diligence because I've run the VIN number on a computer and the information coming out of that computer says this car is okay. There's no way that all the information that you need to know about this car can be gained by running a report. And those reporting sources, Carfax, Auto Checks, all of these types of sources will readily tell you that if you actually read the disclaimer on their reports. They'll tell you that they can't find all the information and you should do your due diligence when you're looking at a pre-owned vehicle. The problem is, with all the hype in the commercials, it's kind of gotten everybody thinking, as long as you show me the Carfax and everything's good on the Carfax, I'm good to go. If, if that power window stops working, we can put a brand new power window motor in that, and it's back to new condition. If this vehicle is, is damaged structurally, there's no coming back from that. If I'm not comfortable putting my family in this car, I certainly wouldn't be comfortable asking you to put your family in the car. Well, wrapping things up this morning on Auto Show TV in Victoria, we're using the Colonial Toyota Gateway to Savings Holiday Edition as our backdrop. Uh, but you have some holiday gift ideas for our uh, viewers. I sure do. You know, since this is Auto Show TV, nothing would be a better gift than a set of jumper cables. A practical mm -hmm. gift indeed. Jumper cables. Mm -hmm. What says season's greetings like <laughs> jumper cables or an ice scraper? That's right. Well, if you already have a pair of jumper cables, maybe a AAA membership. AAA membership is a very good idea. It's a very practical gift. How about a remote car starter? Now that is something I would love to have. Well, you could. You could go to Sound Effects. Our friends at Sound Effects have a great deal for Auto Show TV viewers. They will give you $50 off any remote car starter just by mentioning Auto Show TV now through the holidays, and that's at Sound Effects. Hey, this time of year more than ever, be safe on the roads, everybody. Don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.